Hello! We're getting like 200 frames. It's amazing. That's and good, right? <laughs> yes, that's good. See that? As long as that stays above like 30, nobody will ever know. Okay. Anyway, welcome to Shadowgrounds. Trex got this for me like two years ago and has been bugging me about it. Uh, me and the wife just finished Donkey Kong, and I really don't feel like playing another Donkey Kong, because, dear God, that was terrible. <laughs> so what is Shadowgrounds about? It's about stuff. Oh, we can play co-op, but we're not going to do that. What stuff? Huh? Well, it'll say. You can read text. Uh ah! Celebrating the greatest achievement in mankind's history, IBTN Network presents History of Space Travel, Ganymede. Ganymede! Yay! Ganymede. I think it's the one on the right. First discovered by the 17th century astronomer Galileo Galilei, it was just a distant moon orbiting the gas giant Jupiter, nearly twice the size of Earth's moon. That's not saying Danny much, though. Ganymede was old and battered, with an icy surface that seemed too hostile for mankind. It was hard to believe that the International Space Exploration Union planned to colonize a base there. Despite opposition, ISEU launched yeah, its most challenging project in 2050, the you artificial reading? environment yes. and atmosphere experiment, sending three automated spaceships to terraform Ganymede into a planet fit for humans. Heavy equipment set off giant chain reactions, eventually creating life. Even with the most advanced techniques, this process took years. It always takes years. Finally, in 2072, Ganymede was ready for habitation. New Atlantis, the base colony, was in place. It was an amazing transformation from such primitive beginnings. The colony was able to sustain large numbers of people. And was it? Became home to thousands. Gasps. But even the most progressive societies are flawed. Failed safety measures caused an explosion at the fusion power plant, killing dozens of workers. A grim reminder of human fallibility, <laughs> ever present despite technology. Several members of the security force were fired as a result of this tragedy. What else is new? Security and safety <laughs> guidelines like became top priority for the Ganymede colony. <laughs> a special military unit was formed to prevent further disasters, but Ganymede still maintained its military independence. <laughs> He's humming along to the music that's playing with the little video. Unlike today's Ganymede, it's pretty awesome. That I can't hear it. I better get overtime for this. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you know that the term terraforming was coined in 1942? Yeah. By Jack Williamson? Who's he? Science fiction author. Oh god, that guy's yelling at me. Alright! So, here we go. We can roll. Look at this go. This is the best camera angle you're going to get, so get over it. Oh my gosh, I'll yeah. answer your radio. Hey, grease monkey! Get your ass to the backup generators and fix the power! Take the others with you! Get that power up now! Yeah, sure. Move it, you moron! That guy's a douche. Capital D. We're gonna call him Jeremy. Anyway, IGTO. General Paul Hagen has inspected all facilities on Gamamede. His main concerns with my repair base were that the mechanics don't wear uniforms at all time. Don't treat their superiors. That's me! With enough respect and have low morale. I have been ordered to write an improvement plan. The mechanics are going... What? The mechanics are going to hell for this. Hey, look! Like I said, there's yeah. Jeremy. Yep. There's Jeremy. Big old douchey douche. We won't get into what or who Jeremy is. It's just a term for a douche. Yep. Anytime there's a douche in your life, he's a Jeremy. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. 
Alright, so we can like strafe here. Ding, ding, ding. Side, side roll. Can we back roll? Oh, we can. And that's really all we can do right now. We got a little flashlight. And our health. Oh, there's hey, people. Tyler, how's it going? <laughs> we gotta fix the power. Come on, let's go. I've had enough of this bitching. Yep, nah, yes, that's sir. pretty much how it goes. Got up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, Ty. Why does the boss always ride you so hard? They worked in the same place a couple of years ago. Tyler was in charge back then. Sounds juicy. Lay it on me. Crappy equipment broke down, and Tyler's security team got the blame. Ah, <laughs> that explains a lot. No wonder you kept your mouth shut. Yeah, loose lips sink ships, eh, Tyler? No sweat. Let's get this power going already. Tyler, think you could fix these transmitters before Carter and I get to the control room? Sure, no problem. Our guy's not very talkative with his fellow chum chums. Mm -mm. But that's a. I want to get in there. Oh, there's the door. Door! <laughs> Okay, go ahead and read that. Loud and clear, so the people of the world can hear you. Bear with me, I've only got one contact lens in. Hi, T. The storm is a bitch, all right. Better make sure there's nothing valuable outside, or otherwise it's gone in the wind. I guess the storm will be there in about eight hours. Oh, yeah? And try to send me those virtual EVDs you owe me from the last poker game. Haha, -ha, catch you later. You up for a poker night? Me and the engineers are going to give are get are going to the flying astronauts. Ah, astronaut tonight. We'll reserve you a seat for you as usual. Hope your luck changes this time. Smiley face. Smiley face. Nah, apparently he lost him. Eh, get it. Anyway, yeah, storm. Eight hours. Wonderful. Uh, and this is Game of Mead. Being terraformed, it's still terrible looking so wonderful they went over there we're supposed to go over here look at our little map it's got a thingamadoodle see the thingamadoodle what's the difference between a thingamadoodle and a doohickey the same difference between a thingamabob and a flitchamahickey right. yep well the lights are still <laughs> flickering but at least we can get a move on now would you believe Rodman here couldn't remember his access code? Yeah, no, buddy. All right, we're going to the control room now. I'll be done in a flash. I'll be done in a flash. So this is supposed to be like a survival horror thing. Control room, so we can fix the reactor and get out of here. Good. I don't know why, but this place is giving me the creeps. I swear there's something out there right now. Can't see anything now. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Uh, not this time. This is for real. This time, it's for real. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is kind of like Alien Shooter with better graphics and story. Or Zombie Shooter, or Alien Shooter 2, or Alien Shooter 2 Revisited. So, take your pick. I think it's a little bit easier than those, though. So, storm warning! A big storm is approaching the colony. All security and maintenance personnel are instructed to double-check all necessary equipment, including flashlight batteries and basic repair kit. So, there you go. Our flashlight seems to be doing mighty fine. So glad Sticky Keys isn't on F. Oh, something's going down. There's music. It's scary. We, we good? There's something on the other side of that wall. Ah! Stuff's breaking. What? No. There's a rock. Hey, rock! No, I thought I saw How's it going, rock? Wave, but I guess that's just the steam. That, that, that's dust. Dust? Whatever. Yeah, they're, they're on a plane. Uh, yeah, it's, it's dust. Open the door. Alright, what do we got? Can we loot the lockers? Is that blood? Where? Is it just a stain? Uh, it looks like blood. And sperm shape. And it, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of random. There's a window. Window. See? Window. Hmm. 
I want a flashlight that goes on your shoulder like that. That'd be cool. Oh, I stepped on a bug. That was a bug, right? I guess I stepped on it. It it ain't no bug anymore. Did yeah, it did go crunch. Uh, uh, go ahead. IGTO has issued a new safety has issued new safety regulations regarding the handling of all IGTO marked packages and shipments. No one is allowed to open any of the new shipments. All violators will be prosecuted and sent off from Ganymede. Ganymede. Granny Mead. Granny's Mead. Sounds gross. Granny Peed. What oh. the hell? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the hell? There's a flashlight. Just chitlin'. Somebody's running. There's blood. Trying to scare me? Hey, I'm too old for this shit. Getting too old for this stuff. Can you go over there and like examine it? Or I want to get in there. How do we get in there? Did I come from this way? I don't know. I don't know either. Nope, I didn't. I didn't. Nah. Some see, there's a spider right there. Ah, I stepped on it. Oh, I was over there. All right, let's let's go over here cuz there's surveillance stuffs. Do 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 do. do. All right, this is your what? What they say like 2072? Some yes. somewhere around there. And we still only have black and white security cameras. I don't know. I'm calling shenanigans. On shenanigans. There's a little electric doohickey. Something's gonna pop up on the screen, I know it. Yeah, <laughs> she jumped. That's me! Uh, she jumped. That's hilarious. All right, we're going this way. This place looks terrible. Like steam coming through the floor. All the explosions already happened, has it not? Yeah, I guess. PDA. Children, avert your eyes. There are some weird noises coming from the depths of the power core, but I can't see anything. I should probably go down there. Dot. 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 Ah, 20, 2096. And they don't, they don't have colored. That's blood. Yeah, it is. Security cameras, that's redonkulous. Where are we going? Uh, down? Well, no, I don't want to go down. It's scary down there. <laughs> Sounds like that. Oh. Fix the reactor myself. Guys, you better hope for your sake that I don't make any mistakes. There's there's bad musics. What's that thingy over there? Where? What? It's a terminal. What? You can push oh, it. yeah. I see that. I thought you meant, like, something. Oh. There's something. Oh, hey, there's a duder. Ah! Okay. Uh, uh reroute power. Is that what we just did? No, that's what we gotta do. So how do you do that? I don't know. Whoa! That thing's freaking out. There's a thing. Ah! There's That's not okay. Oh, they don't like light. Oh, and there's awesome music playing. Ah! Uh. Ah! <laughs> Look at 
What's this? Good. At least I got some protection now. Well, I got eight bullets, you dope. What am I supposed to do with eight bullets? See those little spider thingies? Those are the big thingies are like giant ones of those. Lol. I'm scared. Oh no! They're closing in! <laughs> what is this just like one big maze? Uh, what? Ah! Oh jeez. Ah! Oh, I've unlimited ammo. All right, get back here, bitches! Yeah! <laughs> oh no! We got multiple bogeys inbound. Get back here! Uh oh, gotta reload. Hey, oi! Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Uh, let's let's back up. I'm scared. Man, look at all this blood. This is ridiculous. Is it gonna? You have to think with that kind of blood, it's just gonna lead to something larger. Oh. I'm gonna flashlight recharge here for a second. I do have a little dome of light, but still. Well, no, all the blood's the the two people, our buddies. Well, at least the aliens aren't racist. Killed both of them. This is Wesley Tyler at the power plant. What the hell is going on in here? Hell's broken loose, that's what. I'm at the water facility, trapped with a survivor. We can't get out. The security system blocked the doors. I can't contact security. We need your help. What choice do I have? I'll be there as soon as I can. Hurry, please! Yep, gotta go save the redhead. Because <clears throat> she's a redhead. She might not have a soul, but... That means it's okay. I got my wheels. Get my drift. Try to hold on. Get my drift. No. She's just giving me a look. I think I'm in trouble. Alrighty. Well, that was quote unquote chapter one. Gonna stop the recording just in case it wants to crash again at the loading screen. But before we do that. Take it away. Goodbye. No, the. Oh. Uh. <laughs>